Hello guys, welcome to my channel Optometrist Nepal. Myself Saroj Shah, graduated from Rama University, Kanpur, Uttar Pradesh. Today my presentation will be on the topic of transposition. What is transposition? Transposition is the process of changing a lens from one form to another equivalent form. It means process of changing minus two plus or vice versa of the lens power. Types of transposition. There are many two types of transposition. One is simple transposition and second one is storic transposition. Let's discuss types of transposition one by one going through this slide. First one is simple transposition. It is done by three simple steps. First one is sum. Algebraic sum of sphere and cylindrical to get a new sphere. Yes, I have taken one example. Plus one diopter sphere and plus minus three diopter cylindrical on axis 90 degree 90. And by the first step, I have added this sphere and cylinder to get a new form minus 2.0 diopter sphere. And second one is sign. Retain the power of this cylinder but change this sign. In this condition, according to this second step, only we should change the sign of cylindrical but the value will be same. Do not change the value but the sign will be change minus 2 plus and plus 2 minus and step 3 axis rotate the axis of the cylinder through 90 degree yes if less than equal to 90 then we should add 90 but if greater than equal to 90 we should subtract 90 and according to this step Example, I have written the final power minus 2.0 diopter sphere and my plus 3.0 diopter cylinder on axis 180. This is the final power of this example. Different method of simple transposition. First one is negative sphere of cylinder. The sign of the cylinder will be negative. Positive sphere of cylinder means the sign of the cylinder will be positive. Cross cylindrical form means it will have both have the cylindrical form. Example, I have taken one example to make you confidence on simple transposition plus 1.0 will be consider consider A and negative 0 0.50 consider will be B. Step 1 according to simple transposition adding this A plus B the sum of algebraic sum plus 0 0.50 and step 2 changing the sign and retain the value same plus minus 2 plus 0 0.50 and step 3 rotating this axis on the 90 degree here is greater than equal to 180 degree so uh, subtract 90 from it and the final power will be plus 0 0.50 spherical plus 0 0.50 cylinder on axis 90 degree I have taken example of simple transposition. There is three example with answer. You must do this simple transposition and match your answer with this answer. If this is right, then you will confidence on simple transposition. Cross cylindrical form. I have taken one example plus 3.00 spherical plus 2.00 cylinder with axis 90 degree then a spherical value must be written on axis 90 or and axis 180 a spherical value written in both axis and cylindrical value will be opposite the axis here is plus 2.00 on axis 90 degree on axis 90 degree so i have written this value on 180 degree axis then if there is if there is negative then you should minus from this spherical value but here is plus so i have 
done here plus then this plus 3.00 will be on axis 90 degree and by adding this 2 plus 5 is cylinder on axis 180 degree the final power will be plus 3.00 on axis 90 degree and plus 5.00 on axis 180 degree let's discuss toric transposition what is toric transposition how we should do toric transposition of the lens toric lens is on in which one surface is a spherical and other is cylinder yes in toric transposition the toric lens will be always in surface of a sphere and cylinder both median having different power is called toric surface the principal median of weaker power of the toric surface is known as base curve of the lens yes if the lens of toric surface is weaker that is called a base curve toric form toric form always written as fraction numerator and denominator in numerator we will write a spherical curve and in denominator we will write base curve and cylindrical curve there is some rules for toric transposition rules first one choose the base curve first for proper curvature yes we should know the sign of the base curve posit in positive or negative form i have taken one example the base curve is in negative form do simple transposition if sign of base curve and cylinder is not same yes always do simple transposition if the sign of the base curve and cylinder will in negative opposite sign do to find a spherical surface power subtract base curve from sphr yes always subtract to find a spherical surface power always subtract base curve from sphr which we do simple transposition yes look here base curve is in negative and cylindrical value is in positive so at that condition we must do simple transposition to find out the cylindrical surface power fix the base curve at the at the right angle to the axis of cylinder always the base curve is on axis axis of right angle to the cylinder and add the base curve with cylinder to get a cylindrical power always add the base curve with cylinder to get then both the spherical and cylinder surface determine the lens power the final power of the spherical and cylindrical surface will determine the lens power of the toric surface example of toric transposition i have taken one example to make you on the confidence of toric transposition plus 2.0 diopter spherical and plus 3 2.0 diopter cylinder on axis 90 degree and with base curve minus 6.0 according to rules first step simple transposition because base curve and cylindrical value is not same yes cylindrical is in positive base curve is in negative so this is not same so we must do simple transposition to make the value same yes this is a consider a and b adding this that is 5 and changing this sign plus into minus minus 0 0.3.0 diopter cylindrical on axis there is 90 and it is less than equal to so always add 90 this is 180 axis and the base curve is negative and this by doing simple transposition the cylindrical will be in negative if there is base curve negative and the cylindrical will negative do not need to do simple transposition if the cylindrical value and base curve value will be same do not need to do simple transposition and step 2 subtracting base curve from sphere to get spherical surface power yes by doing simple transposition 
the result will be 5 and subtracting this with base curve to get a spherical a spherical surface power and the power will plus 11.0 diopter spherical step 3 finding cylinder surface power fixing base curve at right angle to the axis of cylinder curve always base curve is on the right angle x right angle to the axis of cylindrical that is minus 6 is the base curve minus 6.0 diopter cylindrical on axis 90 degree in a step 4 adding base curve to cylindrical always add base curve to cylindrical to to get a cylindrical form of the toric lens minus 3.0 is the cylindrical form by doing simple transposition and this is a base curve i am adding this to get minus 9.0 cylindrical is on axis 180 degree and toric form plus 11.0 data cylindrical spherical and minus 6.0 data cylindrical on axis 90 minus 9.0 data cylindrical on axis 180 Let's discuss spherical equivalent. What is spherical equivalent? Why we should do spherical equivalent? What are the use of spherical equivalent? We should discuss this in this slide. A spherical a spherical cylindrical lens will call it for astigmatism and myopia or hyper hyperopia. It means a spherical cylindrical always call it astigmatism, refractive error like a astigmatism, myopia or hyperopia. It was necessary to call it a near or far sighted who has no astigmatism. Yes, it is always necessary for the, those patients who has near or far sighted with no astigmatism. At that condition, a spherical equivalent is done. Also, if there is no cylindrical lens available, in some condition there is no lens of cylindrical so at that condition also we should do simple spherical equivalent uses of spherical equivalent it is uses for the spherical lens which would convert a case of simple compound or unequally mixed astigmatism in case of equally mixed astigmatism in this condition uses of spherical equivalent is done how to find a spherical equivalent? How should you do a spherical equivalent? Step 1. Take half of the value of the cylinder. Step 2. Add it to the sphere power. Formula. A spherical equivalent. A sphere plus half of the cylindrical. I have taken one example to make clear on a spherical equivalent. Plus 2.0 a sphere plus 3.0 cylinder on axis 180 degree a spherical equivalent plus 2.0 is the sphere plus 3.0 is the cylindrical and half of this cylindrical will be 1.5 and adding it to the spherical value the total final power is plus 3.5 diopter thank you all of you thank you guys by watching my video and giving some important time for me and also if you are new in my channel Optometrist Nepal please like and subscribe and also press on bell icon to get a new video from my side thank you guys thank you all of you